Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to explain how you can create an asset, check asset balances, transfer assets, and also how to destroy an asset that you created on StateMine. StateMine is a system parachain that is dedicated to everything related to assets that is uh, fungible and non-fungible tokens, the so-called NFTs. It is a system parachain of the Kusama Relay chain, so a similar approach of what I will show today will apply to StateMint on Polkadot. Here we are on the Polkadot.js user interface. We are currently connected to the StateMine system parachain. And uh, we have uh, some accounts. Today we will use the KSM stash and the KSM controller. These are accounts that are injected from the browser extension. We can double check here. These uh, two accounts are visible. We already have some uh, funds on the KSM stash and also some funds on the KSM controller. In order to create an asset, we can go under Network Assets. Here we will have a list of all the assets that have been created so far. And uh, for each asset name, we have the asset ID. The asset ID is the most important thing here because uh, creating an asset on StateMine is permissionless Everybody can do it and anybody can give a name that they want. For example, USDT, USDC. You can see that these are just names. It's not the real USDC and this is not the real USDT. So be careful and um, always refer to the asset ID. To create the asset, we go under create. In here, we need to specify the creator account. In this case, the KSM stash. We will give a name to our asset. Then we specify an asset symbol. We also specify the asset decimals and the minimum balance. And as I already mentioned, we need to choose an asset ID. If we put an asset ID that is already there, we will not be able to go to the next step. So we need to put an asset ID that has not been already chosen. Then we click next. Here we can choose different account for different roles. We have the admin, the issuer, and the freezer. In this case, we will just use the same account for all these roles. We, you can always change the roles uh, later on when you, you already created the asset. And to know more information about uh, the permission that each role has, go on the asset page on the Polkadot Wiki, and there is all the information there. We can click Create. We will sign with uh, the KSM stash. We successfully created the TCC coin, the TECED coin. We can go and uh, search for the ID 200. We need to refresh the page. And we can see the 200 is TECED coin created by the KSM stash. And currently there are no coin in the circulation. So we didn't mint any coin. We just created the uh, asset TCC. But um, what are the consequences of uh, creating an asset and uh, what you should have before creating the asset is uh, important to understand because we need to secure a deposit. We go under accounts. We can see the KSM stash has a balance of 0.2 KSM, but actually only 0.1 is transferable. 0.1 KSM are reserved because we created the asset TCC. So before creating an asset, always make sure you have enough balance to cover the deposit and of course also to cover the existential deposit to keep an account on the system parachain, on state mine. In this case, we have enough balance on the KSM stash and also on the KSM controller. We can go back under Network Assets and uh, we will mint some coins, some TCC coins. So we go and click on uh, Mint and um, we decide, so the issuer account is KSM Stash. This cannot be changed. This is the account that actually created this TCC coin. But we can decide to mint to different addresses. In this case, for simplicity, we will mint some coins to the same uh, account of the issuer of the asset. We will mint a thousand TCC coin, then click on mint, and uh, we sign and submit with the KSM stash. You can already see that we minted 1000 TCC coins. We can check balances for a specific asset ID. 
related to the account that we own. I mean, the account that are connected um, to the UI or injected in the UI from the browser extension or uh, other type of uh, extension or uh, wallet. We go under balances, we go and search for 200 TCC coin, the ticket coin. And we can see the KSM stash has currently 1000 TCC. From this tab, we can decide to send some uh, TCC coin to other addresses. We can click on send. We specify we want to send to KSM controller. And then we specify the amount we would like to transfer. We can click on send. Remember that you need to have the existential deposit on the receiver account. And this holds only for non-sufficient assets. For sufficient assets, we can send even we don't, if we don't have the existential deposit in KSM tokens, but we will need to send at least the existential deposit of that sufficient asset. And if we don't have the native asset, in this case KSM, on that account, we will not be able to pay for transaction fees. So we will not be able to transfer that asset out from our account. So we can click sign and submit with the KSM stash. And here we go. We successfully sent 100 TCC coin to KSM controller. And we can see now another account with the TCC uh, coins, in this case, the controller account. So far, we have seen how we can create an asset, how we can uh, check asset balances, and also how we can transfer an asset. But uh, what if we want to destroy an asset? If you decide that you no longer want to have an asset that you created, you go under developer and extrinsic, you select the issuer account of that asset, then uh, we select the pallet assets and we first freeze the asset. Freezing an asset means that all the asset holders will not able anymore to transfer that specific asset ID. So we need to specify the ID and of course we have the permission with the KSM stash to do so. If we um, put another ID, we will not be able to do any changes because we are not able to uh, change anything related to other assets ID that we did not, did not create. So also notice here the free balance on the KSM stash is 0.1 KSM because uh, remember we have 0.1 KSM that are still in uh, that are still reserved for uh, the creation of the TCC coin. Right, we can submit the transaction. We can sign and submit with uh, the KSM stash. We successfully frozen the asset ID 200. What this means is that if we go under network assets, balances, and we search for the TCC coin, and we try now to send some uh, funds from the KSM controller back to the stash, we want to send back 50 TCC coin from the controller to the stash. We sign and submit with the controller this time. We have a, an error that uh, we failed to transfer the TCC coins. And uh, as I said, this is because the asset is frozen. So we go back and we continue the destroying process. So we go to extrinsics always select the issuer account, the asset palette, and now we can start the destroying process. So search for start destroy. We specify the asset ID and we sign and submit with the stash account. We successfully started the process to destroy the asset. Now what we can do is we continue with the destroying pipeline. The next thing to do is to destroy approvals if there are any approvals. In this case, we just created the asset, we did some transfers and we can skip the destroy approval step. The next step is destroy accounts. This type of step is not actually destroying any accounts. It's just removing the TCC coin associated to all the accounts holder of this specific asset ID. So at this stage, we still have all the accounts holder 
with uh, the uh, TCC coins. We can go back under Network Assets and we can double check. We can see that uh, we still have the KSM stash and the KSM controller with uh, the coins, but uh, the destroying process already started. So we go back under Developer Extrinsic. We select uh, the Asset Palette, Destroy Accounts to remove the TCC coins from those accounts. We specify the asset ID and we sign and submit with the KSM stash. Right, we successfully destroyed the accounts. Note the free balance is still 0.1. We still have the deposit for the asset because um, the asset still exists on StateMine. We go back and check these uh, things under assets that the asset ID 200 is still there, ticket coin, KSM stash, the issuer, and uh, 1000 TCC minted. But actually, if we go and we check the balances, we can no longer see the KSM stash and the KSM controller in here. So the destroying process is almost finished. We go back under developer extrinsic, we select the asset palette, and now what we can call is the final step, which is finish destroy. We specify the uh, asset ID, we submit and, um, and we sign and submit using the KSM stash. Before signing this transaction, keep an eye on uh, the free balance here. This will uh, likely change as soon as we fully destroyed the asset, we will be able to see 0.2 KSM as a free balance. Here we go. This already changed to 0.2 KSM, meaning that we successfully destroyed the TCC coin. We can go under Network, Assets. We can try and search for the ID 200, but should not be there anymore. In fact, it's no more there. And uh, yeah, we successfully destroyed the asset. I hope you learned something today about uh, how can you can create an asset, how you can check asset balances or transfer assets on StateMine, and also how you can uh, successfully destroy an asset.